Hey guys, thanks for tuning back to Luke's Vintage Star Sicker Restoration. As you can tell, I'm going to end a project. What you're looking at is a 1988 Radio Shack Red Arrow. Special buggy for Radio Shack. They'd make quite a few bucks off this one, that's for sure. I wouldn't want to confuse this one with the Golden Arrow because it's really not related in any way to it. Um, this one shares its ancestry with um, another buggy that came out a year prior to this one. That would be 87 uh, Wild Fox. This is a pretty neat one. I got this one off eBay probably about a year ago, maybe a little longer, and I just haven't had a chance to get it restored. So it needs a lot of work. It's got flat spotted tires, they're dry. The body's seen better days, a lot of uh, ripped up stickers on it, but I paid 48 bucks for it and that's what you get, pretty much, you know. So we definitely got plans for this one. Um, first, let me show you inside. How do you get inside of this car? It's got two switches in here, you just like that. The right where the cockpit driver is on the side, they look like giant on and off switches. And I'll show you underneath. You can sort of see it, how it grabs. So that's pretty neat. Heavy shell, actually. These aren't very lightweight shells. And here's the inside. If I can get this thing open. Right there. It's where you put the 7.2 volt battery pack in there. And, uh, yeah, pretty neat buggies. One shock in the back only. It's very similar to the uh, monogram lightning that I did. Or there's also a thunder, I believe. So, if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Very cool buggy. Um, this one has pretty decent suspension on the front. This was, uh, I wouldn't say super hobby grade, but it was, you know, hobby grade-ish. I think that the Golden Arrow was just a little slight bit more hobby grade than this one. Yeah. So, but these are really cool. I never owned one of these back in the day. I wanted one, but I never, never, uh, never got one. My friend had one and he drove it and I got to uh, see how it drove. And these were pretty quick. Uh, but whether it was as fast as a Golden Arrow or faster, I don't know. I don't really know. Perhaps one day we'll do a comparison between the two because that's, that's the million dollar question, which one's faster? So, but this one will definitely be faster than a stock one. And I mean that by, um, this is just a basic um, brushless and motor setup. 4370 KV F540 motor with a 2-3S um, ESE. And this is basically like a Ghoul RC kind of thing. Get off Radio Shack, I mean, <laughs> off eBay for like 40 bucks or so, not a ton of money. And then we got a Futaba 3003 servo that's gonna go in here to replace the, uh, the servo that came with the car. Um, we have some um, very cool vintage -y looking t wheels and tires, but they're pretty neat. I think they're gonna look really good. It's got the large star, a little bit bigger than the um, uh, Tamiya Grasshopper or Hornet type style. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, repainted probably gloss black. We're gonna repaint the body. We're gonna keep it red because it's a red arrow, but we're gonna change the color of the red. So we're just gonna be more red, maybe more of a bordello red. That should be pretty cool. And detail some of the work on the motor, paint the driver. Yeah, all that in the second video. Um, hopefully the second video will include the running portion. I think I might be able to fit it in, we'll see. This one's gonna need quite a bit of work. Um, also, I will say a lot of people want to know what the cage for the cage is for in the front that show these and that is just to keep your fingers from getting burnt on the little electronics right there. So pretty neat cars. It's going to have some bearings in it. We got to open it up, check it out. So if you guys have any memories of the Rio Shack Red Arrow, please uh, feel free to drop them down. We would love to hear about it. And if you can, please hit a like and subscribe. I promise you're not going to want to miss the Rio Shack Red Arrow when it's all restored up and hitting the road. 
in brushless fashion. Alrighty guys, take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.